Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka to all my newcomers. Um, to all my old subscribers and viewers, what's good? Y'all, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Every time you hit that like button, subscribe button, it helps my channel to circulate across the YouTube world, and it helps me to grow, okay? So thank you for that wonderful energy exchange. I know I'm on here looking like, what? and why okay but i still wanted to come see y'all y'all know i don't care i'm transparent as ever okay um you guys still love me though right all right so i'm gonna set my intention before i get started don't forget flip the rolls as you see fit use the spirit of discernment take what you need leave what you don't without spirit flip the rolls as you see fit okay cross the watches take it as if i'm speaking directly to you all right so thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guides for helping me with this collective virgo reading thank you for showing me what i need to see protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to come in with you close the gates anything not in alignment with the divine's will thank you for using me as a clear energy channel to deliver these wonderful messages to virgo all right so let's see What's the energy for Virgo? Let me tell y'all, I've been shuffling cards <laughs> all day. I just got finished doing a personal reading. I know it's not good to crack your knuckles, but my fingers are, my joints are stiff. All right, so when it comes to the door of romance, okay, boom, you got this new beginning or you may want it, right? And um, when it comes to love, you're trying to create this happy family for yourself. Somebody feel powerless, Virgo. Right? I don't know if it's you or if it's somebody connected to you. Maybe it's this person you're trying to create this family with. They may feel powerless. All right, so we're going to see. Jump right in the tarot, see what's good. Where are my cards at, yo? Oh, there they go. All right, so, and look, I'm seeing this wedding ring. Woo! It's an engagement ring. It's my grandmother. She passed away. Um, it's been a while. Probably maybe like eight years or so since she's passed away. Right? But she gave me that is what I was given. Um, and um, I'm definitely hearing somebody. Somebody wants to marry you. I'm, I'm definitely hearing that. But the thing is, okay, this message may not be for everybody. All right, so remember, take what you need. But they're feeling like you don't have the willpower or, or confidence or something here. So let's see. Tell me about the door to romance. Mm-hmm. Ooh, my laptop fell me all my bed. And let me tell y'all, I got to take that as a, um, a little sign, y'all. Remember what I said, right? I'm like, oh yeah, I'll be learning to. I need that on. I'm uploading some of my video. All right, so yeah, basically, this King of Wands is coming out in the reverse. So they either this person was definitely in their Playboy energy at one time, maybe still is, but what I'm saying here is like when it comes to um having this goal. You know, you got to be passionate about this, okay? And it's something here that makes them, they lack some type of commitment. They may have commitment issues is what I'm hearing. But overall, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, it's an opportunity. This is a new opportunity. It's so shiny. It's so bright. Like Virgo is like the freaking shining star. Oh my gosh. This is exactly what I envisioned love to be this is what i don't know i'm just hearing it like that it's like this masculine like yeah this is exactly what you know i would i would see myself with long term you know i see myself this would be the goal you know if i was committal <laughs> this would be the goal right but i'm gonna see why that king of wands is there so that may not be it tell me why the king of wands Let's see, what is that representing? Yeah, so that's what it is. The problem is why they don't put in the effort or why they don't work to cultivate it for real is because, yeah, I didn't see that Three of Pentacles behind it. Three of Pentacles, the 
eight of pentacles reversed and then the tower because when it comes to working with people and sharing that goal they always experience a freaking tower moment that could be past energy too y'all so you remember energy always shifts it changes people change because of our free will but tell me what that tower card is about Yeah, they had a disastrous connection with that Queen of Wands in the reverse. A freaking karmic that's been coming out every single day for the last three weeks, right? It's probably been longer than that, y'all. But y'all um, watch, if you didn't watch my Virgo 2022 prediction okay and you're going to hear some stuff about this okay but otherwise mm -hmm, that's what happened that's why it's like the opportunity is there they got the perfect opportunity the perfect situation in all but mm -hmm. Yep, they got this opportunity. Just take that leap of faith. Just jump, bro. Just jump. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to them recovering, King of Swords in a reverse position. When it comes to them recovering, they lack some structure here, right? Something here. Or they become very manipulative is what I'm seeing. It's like they don't have no... Yeah, they lack discipline. They lack discipline. Tell me what I need to see. So some communication going to come in. Or well, something's going to shift. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Sorry, y'all. Your peoples might drive a motorcycle, but something's going to come in and it could bring some type of progress because literally like Virgo, you have the freedom to move forward. This person has the freedom to move forward here and some energy here is kind of like pushing this along. All right. So show me what I need to see. Tell me about this. The ones. So the stagnation is basically because your person Virgo has a lot of burden basically yep they're carrying a lot of um, responsibilities on their own they're doing something here you know whatever it may be they they may got children you know how it is they may work got tons of bills things like that right so hold on my second ten of wands reverse and yeah they try to do too much by themselves they try to be everything and to everybody right and it's hard they're burdened by their circumstances literally that's what it is it's like they want to be successful like this they want to take it to the next level with the six of wands they're doing this personal transition. They're, they're, they are healing. They are releasing the things that no longer serve them. And they're taking you with them is what I see. Um, you may be like their friend, you know, strong connection that y'all may have. Very intimate. Um, Page of Cups is in the reverse position. But overall, it's like they're slow to open up. They could be very emotionally immature for real. When it comes to love and offering love because of that situation, it's like they're completely shut down. It's like the, oppor the opportunity is very, op is very <laughs> opportune. Is that what I'm trying to say? <laughs> okay, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's late, y'all. I don't know what time it is. I need to go to bed. It's like 1221. Check that out. 1221. Okay, on the clock. All right, now, I've been saying 1441, 1440, 1044, 1041. I mean, it's been all day. Like, the synchronicity's been hitting, y'all. Tell me about the, um, 
Magician in the Mirror card in the reverse. Oh, did I skip the Happy Family? I think I talked about that, y'all. Tell me about the Happy Family. And pull. Mm, yeah, they want to take the leap of faith. The Fool card. Or you want to. You ready like shit. I know the universe is going to catch me, right? I'm confident. Um, I definitely see that, though. But when I, when I look at that, it's like it's their energy still coming through because it is five of cups. But it's in the reverse. It's like they want to be able to stop focusing on what they lost and pay attention to what's right in front of them is what i'm seeing here okay but again it's like they lack this willpower or some type of manipulation page of swords comes out all right so look yeah they 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 want to execute this idea again this is about some type of communication here is what i'm seeing this person is definitely very emotionally immature, okay? That just is what it is, all right, when it comes to that. They may get defensive when it comes to it instead of really kind of like communicating it, things like that, right, is what I'm saying. But overall, it's like they do want to communicate some stuff here. Um, and even with the ideas, like, yeah. But of course, we already know what's going on with the situation, with the karmic situation. Eight of swords and the reverse. They're clear in their mind. So they're not, it's like their hands ain't tired. They're not restricted or anything is what I'm saying. Are they trying to find a solution? Only thing is, wow. That's what the that's what it is. Like you that lover. Alright, y'all got a strong connection. This may be your twin flame. For some of y'all, it may be your spouse. Right. But however, they gotta make choices that are best for their situation at this time. And what it is is that their money is funny, honey. Alright, five of pentacles. The money is funny. They worry because they have too many hard times. It's like it's always a little setback and they they got a lot of fear that they won't have enough. This is why they're so isolated when it comes to love. They feel distant. It's like they're disconnected when it comes to that aspect because they're money, honey. All right, so tell me about the magician in the reverse position. I mean, like you can't really... Usually masculines, let me tell you, even I do it. So I already know when my money funny, when my bank account gets to a certain level or I'm trying to play, you know, catch up and stuff like that, robbing Peter to pay Paul, I got a straight attitude. I'm just learning now to look at my money. I, I'm learning to have a better relationship with my money and have... um to think better about my situation instead of being in that la that lack mindset. So it's like instead of, you know, just find the reasons to be grateful. Like, yeah, I got a position that I go to um, and I get paid and I work three days a week, six hours. You understand a week? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but like I, I got to look at the things that I have going on and just take my mind off of what I don't have. Right. So but. Overall, if you're not there yet, and a lot of times masculines are working off of what? Their stability. If they don't feel stable, yeah, they're not going to feel stable in anything else. This is why they haven't made a decision to connect with you. Okay? Two of cups in the reverse. It's a, it's, it could be just a disconnect between y'all two. Um, some of y'all may be separated from this person. Just want some disharmony. But when it comes to making a, a fair decision here, yeah, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like, mm, they don't, they're not reliable when it comes to you knowing if they're going to create something stable here. I mean, and this is the wholehearted truth, y'all. I know sometimes you hate to hear this shit, right? But you got free will, right? For real. Um, This person really just lacks the confidence is what I'm hearing. In their own ability. So the five of wands comes in a reverse position. There's going to be some type of peaceful resolution. Or Hold on. Let me see something. There's no conflict. 
Tell me about that. Because they got the strength card in the reverse. So we already know, right, they lack in the strength. They lack the carriage or the willpower to manifest this. Tell me about the five of wands in the reverse position. Tell me about the five of wands in the reverse. Yeah. <laughs> With this five of four of wands in the reverse position, when it comes to creating something stable here, it's like... They can't support that. And the only reason why I say they can't support that, it's like they it's not like they don't support you. How can they create a stable foundation if they can't support themselves or take care of the responsibilities and the burden that they already have? Okay, that's what I feel with that card. So my son just came out of his room talking on his headphones on that video game, y'all. So you already know if you hear little chatters in the background. Now, um, yeah, all right, so basically, it's like it could be some postponements, of course. Lack of support, unhappy families, things like that. And it's like when it comes to cultivating or having the willpower because that's the magician again some of y'all may be connected to woo, a gemini this puts a lot of attention in their body and it's like they got they would literally have to figure out like who do i give to they stretch thin y'all who do i give to i gotta give to this i gotta give to that i gotta give to this and they want to give to you is what i'm saying they want to be so they want to be able they want to be able to manifest in a way that they can give to you that they can be ge as generous as you are to them is what i just heard but tell me about this four ones in the reverse very unbalanced with this it's that it's about stability y'all hmm and they don't communicate well they're not communicating about it tell me about the four of wands reverse okay yep That's the worry. It's like, will they be successful at this? They take it to the next level. Okay. It's like they're making this transition. That's why they're taking you with them. That's why I keep seeing that. But they're not ready for the commitment part of it. Yep. Judgment card. Okay. So, I mean, literally, they have awakened. And they're trying to make adjustments. But right now they're finding their they're they're looking for their careers or their their like purpose, things of that nature is what I'm seeing. They're really doing a lot of self-reflecting on their own actions, right? And this is what this personal transition is about. You go through a transformation, but they're still hopeless. It's like that star is in the reverse. It's still some type of despair and they're not being transparent. Tell me about the star in the reverse. Let's do it again because I don't know which one was going to fall out. Tell me about the star in the reverse. Yeah, when it comes to creating some type of new beginning here with the sun. Staying positive, staying optimistic about it. Thank you. Will it be another situation like it was with that last person? Show me what I need to do. Will I be stuck with all the responsibilities? Page of Swords come out again. Will I be caught up in some legal matters? Will I be heartbroken? They still dwelling on that other stuff. It's a lot of deep wounds and they are still really focused on 
what they've been through, the mistakes they've made, the heartbreak, the grief, you know, even if it was something that they, they, um, they, they, uh, I, I can't think of the word. It's like, it's like that, right there at the tip of my tongue. I'm like conflicted on you. Is that it? Look, and they keep saying everything is fine, but nah, they not. And you even may be like, everything is fine, I'm good. But really, it's still a lot of deep wounds. It's a mirroring energy here is what I'm seeing. Yeah, they think, oh, it's going to be an unhappy family. They don't. Yep, it's uh, that dang old Queen of Wands. Y'all like, like y'all, she won't go away. <laughs> she won't go away. Like, I don't know if I care about you, sir. I'm on now. Why, why did the Queen of Wands in the reverse pop up? Oh, no, they're saying he's moving on towards that Queen of Cups. They will overcome that challenge and move on to where their heart is at, for real. But the thing is, that's why I said, they taking you with them. They ain't going, they don't want to leave you. Nah, they not, they don't want to let you go. But right now they're not stable enough to bring it all together. Or they don't feel like they can manifest it. Like I, they really don't feel like that they, they can, they can pull it off. I'm, I'm something told me to pick up something to hear with some messages are coming from their higher self here. I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good. Okay, y'all can't see it, it's in cursive, but it's coming from Mystic B's um, Twin Flame and Conversations and Secrets, but I'm just, you know, I'm just using them accordingly right now. It says, my emotions are like an angry sea. The waves consume me, I'm drowning. Okay, so they're very emotional about this. All right, and let me see something. Somebody could be spitting some lies too. Let me see. I hate that I love you so much. Somebody. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull on that. Your silence is destroying me. So somebody is um, not speaking to you their person you may have blocked them you may don't want to talk to them right they got a lot of pride is it is like this both of y'all that's pride and that's ego right both of y'all just like got y'all back turned okay like but and it could have been because you feel like they're untrustworthy that's what it is that's why you have them blocked you feel like they're untrustworthy because of this third party situation that you didn't got your, you know that you you're in. I don't necessarily want to say you got yourself in. Sometimes you find yourself in situations and be like, how the hell did I get here again? Okay, so here it go. It's almost like somebody is this karmic female is, or some lies or something. The snake is going all the way through, right? It's like all around lies, right? Tell me about this untrustworthy. And that's what I said, that King of Wands in the reverse has been in their play, playboy energy. So you're like, nah, I don't trust it. Thank you. And here what I'm saying is like, no, things are gonna get better, okay? With the will of fortune involved. It's like luck is on your side. Things are gonna get better here. You, you guys were in a karmic cycle. Five of Cups will recover, okay, from whatever was lost. Thank you. Yeah, and what was lost was the lovers. What was lost was the Ten of Cups, the family. Okay, you guys are the lovers. The imbalance fell on your side. Okay, at this point, it seemed like karma was against you. At, you know what I'm saying? Like, you caught the shit into the stick. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> right. You didn't reach your happiness. Dang, my computer wants to die now. Blah. Okay, so. Five of Swords. And whatever words y'all said to each other, that it's probably very, very, very painful. Okay. 
But overall, what I'm saying is like, no, they're going to come out of that energy of being over our love or relationships or discontent or bored. Um, they're going to come out of that energy and they're going to end up becoming either aware or they're going to choose happiness instead. Show me about this four cups in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups. They're going to end up coming in. They're, they're going to bring a message. And this is a message that definitely comes from their heart. Okay? So they're going to follow their heart is what I'm hearing. So what they're going to do is end up making, and this could be future energy that's coming in. Some of you, it may have already started to happen. You're already starting to see it. And they're going to make a decision that's going to be based off of how they feel rather than what they think. So they've been really thinking logically here. So when you're thinking logically, what are you thinking about? Your money. I can't be a provider. They're very, you know, um, overly emotional. It's like, I can't provide. I can't be a provider to Virgo. Yeah, they were lacking their own self-awareness is what I'm saying at one time and being very hopeless about it with the judgment card in the reverse. A lot of self-doubt, okay? And then I got the star card that came out again. Yeah, so. Mm. Let me get a message here from my deck real quick. I need to put my phone, my thing on the charger. Hold on one second. It's at about 6%, okay. Way too much. They're releasing their old ways. I just seen that and it just didn't come out. Yep. <laughs> what I tell you? <laughs> baby mama drama. Baby daddy drama. I want you in my life. Point blank. It's like, I want you here. That's why I'm taking you here with me. They dragging you along too. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> They ain't take nothing else. <laughs> you. you see on that boat, it ain't. It wasn't no bags or nothing. It was just them and you. Okay. <laughs> they like, nah, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving my Virgo behind. But I got some baby mother drama. I got some karmic situations I gotta take care of, right? Cause I got obligations. I got these kids, <laughs> and I got very little money. Okay. And then I'm talking about bringing a Virgo in my life, and Virgo is already like self-made and leveling up and like they got to try to match your energy they're not on your level is what i'm hearing at this time okay and they will rise up to meet you there but right now they got to go through this personal transition that's what i'm hearing they have to go through this, their personal transition they have to get their life together they have to fix that and that's not a problem okay you want your person to be whole all right and if they have issues like they got you know you don't need that right okay you can be a friend support them stay present you know, if that's what you choose to be and do, if you don't, you want to move on, then sayonara, right? That's your that's your your choice. But otherwise, your angels are saying to wait and bide your time for better results. Like all of that was coming to me, like, and I didn't even see the card in front of me. They're telling you to wait. You're gonna get better results. Things are gonna get better. You've seen the will of fortune in the upright position. Okay, they just gotta get their things together. They're closing out this karmic cycle. I know y'all been seeing fives. I've been seeing them too. Five, five, five. Definitely. What is meant for you will never be held back from you. Have faith. That spirit is taking care of everything. And there go them fours. You've been seeing the fours too. We got to learn how to stay present in our now and let things unfold naturally especially look 444 y'all friends you know sometimes and if this even if this is your twin it's like you feel like oh i know i found my person i need my person that you can't have them no other way unless they your person we don't own nobody 
Okay, allow them to go through their transition just like you went through yours. All right, as feminine energy, yes, we need more nurturing, you know, and healing and love and appreciation. But masculines don't normally operate like that. So they're going through their process just as much as you went through yours. Okay, so the universe is fully supporting you as you continue on your path of enlightenment. That's what you're supposed to be focusing on right now. Okay, your enlightenment. Damn, my computer shut off, y'all. Your angels are with you during this time of change and transition. Y'all going through a transition. All right. They transitioning. They taking you with them. Okay. But they ain't ready to jump the broom yet. Okay, honey. Awakenings and activations are at hand. Be look out for the, Be on the lookout for signs guiding the way. Okay. And did anything else come out here? Let's see if this video uploaded y'all so if i need to nope Ugh. i got it i gotta turn my um computer on i ain't feel like stopping the video at all but i may have to okay so you don't have to compromise your own integrity and that's what i just said to y'all if this is if it goes against what you want then bye right the divine ain't gonna be made this is your choice we got free will but otherwise, assert yourself accordingly, stand in your integrity, and go ahead and move on. Okay, but the angels are definitely saying, hey, wait, bide your time. Why? Because a lot of y'all connected to your twin flame. Y'all have a purpose. Okay, y'all got to get through this step. How you going to get together and be a power couple if you can't even align with them in their healing journey? Just as much as you went through your healing journey, right? It is, it's a totally different change. Look, it says, don't wait for me to make you happy. I will come when you found your happiness within. Y'all think that this person is going to be your end all, like that's going to be your happiness. And that's not what it is. Okay. And that's what the divine is trying to get us all to understand. Okay. We find our happiness in ourselves. This is why this connection still probably hasn't fully connected. This masculine is not happy with themselves. Okay. So ask yourself, is this something within you that you're not happy with? All right. Because remember, your counterparts are normally a mirror reflection of you. Okay. This is why they have set certain boundaries. Or you may have had to set boundaries. Right, but please do not lose faith. And this is what they're asking you is coming from their higher self. They're, they're, they're coming from you asking them to come from a king of wands reverse to an emperor overnight. <laughs> I don't know, that felt like my granny coming through. It's so easy to become mentally clouded with a love as strong as ours. Focus. I just can't let you go. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, I, I have picked up some. I must have got like an upgrade or something. I guess that's what you call the spiritual activation or something. Because now all of a sudden I'm just channeling. I didn't never. I, 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 I intuitively think. But now it's like even now without the cards, I'm starting to begin to channel. And um, I did. Uh, what else did I do? I can't, it just slipped my mind that fast. God. But growing pains hurt the worst. That's what they're going through. Growing pains. And it hurt like hell. They over there like going through. It's like the dark night of the soul. They like, what the? <laughs> and you over there looking at them like, what the hell is wrong with them? Like, uh, you remember what you went through when you was going through your dark night or when you was going through your growing pains and you was trying to heal those nights. Come on now. <sighs> I remember it like it was yesterday. It took me five, six years to get where I'm at today. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's not it's not an overnight process, y'all. Um, the divine is working. Just just be patient if you can. Everybody has their own path and their own journey that they have to take. You guys will take yours together is what I'm hearing. Okay. You will get your Ten of Pentacles. But right now, focus on your own evolution. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. What I need to see here. 
There go the sacred lust card again, and we ain't gonna talk about that, okay? If you missed it, then you need to go back to my YouTube channel and scroll, okay? So it's um, Virgo, you and this person have a sacred and sexual union. Y'all, this y'all twin flame, okay? This is divine. This is divinely orchestrated here. All right. So y'all check that. Check that one out. That video kind of like, whoo, y'all. So I'm gonna tell you it's a little explicit, okay? And it talks about how these karmics are doing spell work on this, um, on these masculines, and it's keeping them resistant. It's the candle magic, and they're speaking spells. They're doing all types of crazy hidden tactics, okay, to try to keep these masculines feeling like they can't manifest in seasons. <sighs> All right, so with the resistant card, let me show y'all. It came out. And then in seasons, I don't know what that means, so I'm going to pull it all through my book real quick. So it says, Basically, what's happening while they're being resistant, and I talked about it. This is just summing it up, okay? So, this is the summary for you, Virgo. All right, so you they are scared, basically, that they're going to mess it all up. They have stumbled before. They have made tons of mistakes, and this is the shit I'm adding, okay? But, you know, they have to learn to show up for themselves, and that's what the divine is saying. They got to learn to show up for themselves. They got to show up for themselves before they can show up for you. Let them, let them be... Whew. Let them go from just masculines to divine masculine. They have to go through their stages. Okay. They have been ghosting their own dreams. They don't recognize their own power yet. They still haven't come to recognizing that. They're not facing the mirror. Okay. And they pretend that they seek it, but it's like they, they say it, but they really don't think it's going to ever come. It's them that's holding themselves back, basically. Okay, so they're going to step into their greatness. But right now, they're still just like in that resistance stage. Okay. Um, but yeah, the divine is saying they have to show up for them. And season says, y'all are in a new cycle. That last one closed out. I think I spoke about that the other day. Yep, that cycle has closed out. The the masculine closed that cycle out. I think it was in the Virgo reading I did yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. So now the masculine has to catch up. They have to allow themselves to become present because that they're so used to that old karmic cycle. I mean, they've been doing that same shit since what? Past lives, okay? Because that's what that last reading talked about. Like, y'all yo, y'all been doing this since past lives, all right? And they have to learn how to trust in divine timing. They're so impatient when it comes to divine timing. So it's so much here that they have to um, learn. So they're in this stage right now of learning. This is the season that they're in right now, all right? Um, and they're in such a hurry, <laughs> Okay, they want to be able to get through this quick and they used to doing shortcuts and things like that. But the divine is like, no, you are going to do this correctly. Why? Because they are divine masculines. If you are masculine watching, you are a divine masculine and the divine said you're going to do this correctly okay because you are of divinity and you have to recognize your power all right it comes from god like powerful whoa you gotta be ready for a new beginning like this divine feminine virgo you already embody <laughs> the divine feminine energy look and it said in his book, it says you are in or entering a new season that will force you to evolve. This is a time of major transition. But I tell you, they making, they taking this transition. They taking you with, with them and they're being forced to change. They're being forced to evolve here because they're stuck. All right. So the, the universe is working with them. Okay. Like the, and that's some good shit. They ain't sitting up there just looking like, 
and they still don't got it. Ooh, when they gonna ever get this? It's almost as if they're holding their hand is what I'm hearing. They gotta release these old patterns. They're terrified. <laughs> it's like this change is happening so quickly. And it's like they're terrified. It's like anything that you've never done before, you're gonna be hesitant. So they have to, they're being mentored right now. Wow. And that's why I said it's like the their guides are holding their hands right now. They're being mentored right now. You're probably even mentoring them right now. And they gotta be open here to listen to the guidance that's coming through. Yep, and it says here, when you choose a new path, you are ripe for self-sabotage. So the, the, the universe is literally, they're being tested. Their commitment is being tested. Let me tell you, the masculines have been going through a major tower moment, man. Like low, like whoo, so vibrationally low, y'all. Because of how all these delays have um and obstacles have come up against them. And it just came out of nowhere. It was like they was rocking. It was jamming. The universe took and then what gave them all of the stuff that they were asking for. And then what happens? Whoop, it comes to a halt. So it's like the universe is saying, hey, I'm going to show you what we can do. Now that you see what we can do, now do you believe? Then they put them to the test. All right, now we're going to take away or we're going to put it to a halt and see if you still believe see if you still connect to your higher self let's see if you still trust in the universe or trust in the divine and that's what's happening the time is now and once they realize that they are limitless okay whoo that's when it can let me tell y'all i'm getting chills y'all i'm hearing divine feminine Okay, and I, I didn't know already just like this 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 is this a twin flame reading. Scratch the regular Virgo reading, y'all. I'm a twin, so we we're basically pretty much on the same timelines. Okay, and what I'm hearing is like you may have spoken something to them and it came it came like it was like that page energy, page of swords. And whatever you said to them, you definitely we're defending your truth. It's like you were speaking your truth to them because they were so vibrationally low. Whatever argument, whatever took place between you and this person, it caused some type of tower moment. It's like you brought the tower is what I'm hearing. And you said some things. And yeah, some stuff came out brutally honest, but it was needed because it was triggering the hell out of this masculine. Okay? But it triggered them to think. So it pushed them into hermit mode. And when you go into hermit mode, you do what? You're self-reflecting. Okay? Sorry, y'all. I know I'm staring off, but y'all know I'm a, see I'm a seer. So I I'm seeing it. I'm envisioning it. I see it happening. Okay? And literally, this is what happened. And it pushed y'all into a new season. You're in a new cycle. Okay? This is what y'all do for each other. This is what the importance of these twin flame connections are. This is why they are so important. You guys help each other to evolve so that y'all can serve out y'all divine life purpose. All right, y'all. That's it. It's a wrap. I'm going to go sleep. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Okay. We always learning over here on the Oracle Goddess channel, right? Because my spirit team be like, no, we got to teach y'all something. Okay. Because we trying to help y'all to be freaking power couples. Okay. We got who we got out here. Jay-Z and B. They still rocking hard. Cause Come on now. Look at the drama. You can tell that's, you can tell that's um, Beyonce twin flame for real. Uh, look, I was going to say Kanye and the other chick, but that, that's a dead deal. That's a done deal, <laughs> okay? But, you know, you got tons of couples out here. Um, Obama, you know what I'm saying? The Obamas is rocking like that, you know, that I can name off the top, right? But if you can name some shit, drop them, right? Um, this will keep you inspired. Everybody has a journey. Everybody that's going through it. But you know you know your person, okay? And you know what that, what the purpose is and what and how you serve a purpose in this world, <laughs> Keep the ring in mind. Things are going to come full circle. Okay? All right, y'all. I love you guys. Peace. Look, 44, 14 on the clock, booze.